Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about a new planner. It's been a while since I've actually done a video on my like planners and not just like planning specifically. So this is going to be a setup video and just talking about the new leather cover that I received and my transition into a ring planner. So here is my beloved A6. This is a VDS from, uh, yes, it's a VDS from VDS. Um, it is the Sakura Matte Velvet Croco, and it is a stunning piece of leather. I did do a video on the unboxing, and I did do a couple of videos on Instagram, so I've been a lot more active on Instagram lately. If you guys are Instagram users, then definitely check me out there. And I am a lot more responsive there when it comes to like questions about anything, really. So this is what I have. It's an A6, and it's an A6 rings. You can see the chunkiness here. There we go. You can see the chunkiness. I think it's beautiful. I got actually a couple of new things and um, I am really enjoying this now this is not like my full everyday like carry or anything this is something I actually keep at home only because I am worried that I might mess it up I tend to like leathers that are not scratch resistant but are going to gather character over time with scratches and things like that. Now this is Croco and you would think that scratches would be able to easily hide amongst the Croco. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm really scared to take it out. I have no reason to take it out because it's like a planner that's meant to stay home for my shop and I don't travel with my shop or anything like that. So it does stay home on my desk almost like open all the time. As for the texture, it is a really soft, velvety texture. In my previous video on Instagram, I talked about how it compares to a Jillio, and it is different. Uh, the Jillio, I would say, has a nice texture too, but it's not as velvety as this one. This was a customization, so I asked Petra to make sure to have the small croco on the left and then the large on the right and I wanted the small on the band here so they did a great job with that and I didn't really ask for anything else specific this is not a custom that has a back a large back pocket and I'm glad for that because I really like how the leather is in just the one piece so let's open it up. You probably will see a couple of glares because the window is over here. But this is what it looks like and oh, it just makes me so happy every time I open it up. Um, I've added a few things. This is a pin, magnetic pin from Happy Scrappy. Then I have my own sticker and one of those like masking sticker tapes and I just kind of clipped them together because that pink matched perfectly with this and then one of my favorite stickers from my shop I have this which I put on a plastic piece of paper and just kind of stuck it in so that the sticky part won't stick on the leather and I have just some extra pieces of stickers from Van Sticky I have another one of those uh, patch stickers. These I actually got from Hobby Lobby and they were pretty inexpensive and I thought that, that this was really cute so I kind of stuck it right there. I do need to like fix it and probably take this off because this was part of one of my smaller planners. I do like the little peace sign sticking out. And then I have just some business cards that have the like rewards. so which is like a great idea. I need to do that with my business cards. 
And then in the first pocket, I got some Happy Mail. And these four pieces are from 15 Prill. And these are just stickers. And I really like how she added the tabs on them. So I just kind of stuck it right in here. And I have a uh, Paper Penguin Co. A little card that she adds, I think, almost to every order. I like how that kind of sticks out with the gold. And then I have a Van Sticky sheet. Which sometimes I forget. Like if I don't, sometimes it gets stuck all the way under there and I forget I have this sticker. Because I could use these probably every day. Um, but yeah, so I kind of try to stick it out like that. And then in the back pocket, I have some extra 15 Krill stickers and a Cat's Brussel Co. like card that she sends with every order. And so I just like for it to peek out there. Nothing too fancy. I don't have any fancy papers or anything like that. So just to show you that you can even use stickers that you get from shops and their cards. Let's see. So I actually made this vellum piece. I had a uh, custom order for this and I decided to make a small version with a little paper clip and I thought it was really cute. So this is made out of vellum. And then I added some pictures of my boys and I actually put them in this piece. It's part of a bag that I think I got from an order and I just cut it down. I thought it was really cute and I could layer it. So just trying to get a little bit creative here. And I stuck my like my pictures. These are those pictures that have the sticky background or backing, but I didn't stick them in. I just kind of stuck them in there and for some reason they stick in there and they stay. So kept that. I have this Hello Pumpkin. I think this was from an order. Gosh, I can't remember. Oh, LK Designs. Duh, it's on here. Um, then I printed these off from Lix, at Lix on Instagram. And she has a free download to print these. And then you just cut it to the size of your planner. Then I have these dashboards, which are from Cloth and Paper. And I'm too scared to actually put like labels on them right now because I'm afraid that the labels are going to get stuck. These dashboards are so cute. Um, and if I want to change it up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to and then I'm going to ruin the dash, I mean ruin the, the side tab. So I just keep them blank for now until I'm absolutely sure that this is what's going to work for me. I guess you could say right now I'm in this phase of testing things out. So I have a sticky note from Van Sticky and this is just a die cut which I can't remember the shop. So sorry I can't remember. Um, for those of you I'm pretty sure you have purchased from this shop. Oh it's at the tip of my tongue. If I remember it'll be on the screen. And then I have this plastic dashboard which is from Foxy Fix and um, a vellum dashboard of the year at a glance for 2020 and this is from cloth and paper so i kind of stuck it in there because it's not 2020 yet it's only september and i don't want it to get ruined it's not a really hard thick piece like these are it's really a um just like a piece of vellum and so i want it to last as long as possible i cut it down just a sliver around the bottom and the top so it can fit inside the dashboard and be uh, less exposed. So the first set are printables I printed and I printed them on a 32 pound paper I think. It's an HP paper. Super smooth you guys. This paper is super smooth and it's actually meant for fountain pens. So um, I do use a lot of fountain pens in general, and so I wanted fountain pen paper. And it prints pretty nice too. So this is from Jacinia Printables, and this is her monthly undated. And it 
it includes habits and then you have like the four boxes to put in events, tasks, finances, I think this is, oh, your goals. So I just filled this out for the month and I'm realizing how much I really like this because even though it has the habits, I don't have to look at this every single day, especially since I'm not using this every single day. It's not my every single day carry, but every once in a while I can glance at this. This is something I can do at the beginning of the month and then glance at this every few days. And I don't feel so bad about not having to fill something out in here. So I have a black Ollie clip and I have it connected to my monthlies and this is actually from Peanuts Planner Co. I really like these but for some reason when I was printing them out they seem like I printed them incorrectly like they seem really small I don't know if that's normal this is a free printable from her Facebook group which is awesome um, so I just pinned it here and I think it's great to be able to open to like your goals and things for the month and then to have your actual month your days now it's nice to have this too it's kind of like a month at a glance but really how how would you put anything in these little boxes I don't think you could fit more than just a number um, so that's why I think it's important to have something like this if you really do need to fill something in also it gives me a reason to use my little stickers that are in my shop and um, then I added this this was the backing of a um, of a bookmark from 15 Pro and it has this like shimmer on it so I was like there's no way I'm gonna throw that away it's so pretty so I laminated it and then I stuck it in here purposely to be able to kind of show you how it sticks out So I did that and these stickers are from my shop. This one and this one is from Van Sticky, yes. And then I kind of pre-decorated October and I think it's so pretty. I love these purple stickers with the gold foil and these stickers are all from 15 Pro. It may be a little much, maybe a little much, but you know. So moving on, this is a dashboard from 15 Pro and you buy it for the A6 size. Getting into my next section, I had to keep this. I thought this was so cute. This is from Sojourner. This is her new like business type card with a thank you note. And I have my purchases which is important for end of the year and for your like taxes, especially if you have a little business. So I have to keep track of those. And these are inserts from cloth and paper. And then I have a Cat Espresso Co. plastic, um, gosh, what's she call these? Why am I so, I am just like blinking out on everything. Jelly, jelly insert. And it has the scalloped pocket on both sides. So I just fit some of my stickers in here. These are this is my sticker. This is from a shop that I can't remember. Goodness gracious, I'm terrible. Van Sticky. Um, and I think this thing is so cute. I need to put it somewhere else so that it could shine on its own, but it's sticking out right there. And then some more of stickers from my shop. Kind of stick them out like that. And then I have some stickers from, uh, this is like the Stalogy stickers you can get from Amazon or from Jet Pens or any place that sells like a Stalogy. Some more of that Lix paper. And then another dashboard from Foxy Fix. And you know what's funny is that I went crazy on Foxy Fix trying to buy like a ton of dashboards because I was like, I have all this space. How am I going to use it being new to rings? And now that I actually have things I want to write down and use for this planner, I'm realizing that like I have to take out some of this stuff. So because it's getting so chunky and I would either have to like change my rings. This is 20 millimeter rings and it's already chunked up and it's kind of frustrating. Like I didn't realize I would 
actually be using this planner more functionally than I am. Or mo more functionally than I thought I would. Uh, so it's all Rambos over here. This is just a die cut from Haley's Handmade Co. And then Happy Scrappy Stickers. And these are her Disney ones that were part of her kit. And so I thought these were so pretty. I had to add them in here. When will I use these? I don't know. I don't know. Some stickers I made. Getting into the next section is like the weekly dashboard. And I love this. This is from Justinia Printables. And I decided to print the first page on vellum. So it's kind of see-through. And it's just so delicate and pretty. And then this is, these are inserts from Cloth and Paper. Love these inserts. However, I don't normally work on a timetable like this. I do work from home and so I am not super busy. I can kind of work around how, you know, my day-to-day -day stuff. So I don't really have like a task every single day at a certain specific time. Things do pop up, but I can't, I don't know, if I did have a task every single day, I don't know. I don't even know if that would work for me just because I have crazy boys at home and they're just wild and ugh, it's just, it can get really hectic. So I have kind of a free form of style, but I did want to try these out and see like where my time goes when I am doing something productive. And so, because this is mainly for my shop, you know, my planner for my shop, then I kind of wanted to keep track and keep track of how much time I'm spending on my shop and, you know, kind of break it down like that. So I did this for the week. The great thing about it is that they're undated and blank. And so when you want to use it, you can. So this was something that happened last week. And this week I have been swamped with like a crap load of work stuff outside of just my shop and things. Like a ton of stuff for work. Um, my other job. So I was like I'm not going to just use this on like every other day or something like that. Because you know these inserts that you buy already pre-printed can be kind of pricey. And they only give you so much. So I'm going to use it when I need it and when I know I have a week to really spend in my shop. So I, I have only been able to fit like three of these pages. Like I mentioned, you get 15 and I have like the whole stack in here, but it's not going to work with all some of my deco. And I need this deco. I like having something pretty to look at when I open it up and to kind of have a place to collect uh, some like of my stickers and other items I get from shop owners that I purchase from. So this is another Caspresso Co. card that I just cut down to fit inside the Foxy Fix dashboard. This is one of my stickers in my shop. This is a vinyl sticker. And then one of my planner cards. Just something positive. So you can buy that in my shop too. And then on the back side I put these two, and these are both from Haley's Handmade Co. Very colorful and pretty. And this brings me into my next section, which is, it's called the Weekly Dashboard. But I don't know if I, I mean, I guess I kind of use it like that. And then this is like my favorite part. Just these hearts. It's just so cute. I love it. Okay, so this I tried out. Obviously, I used it at the beginning of the month, and I have this one, which I forgot to put the date on, but this is supposed to be this week, yeah, um, but again, I've been really busy, so it's, it kind of, this is a printable from Descendia Printable, so I can just print them out whenever I need them. Um, I was using it for, like, basic things that happen for the day, and then like views on Instagram because I'm really trying to, you know, put some effort into my Instagram. And these are stickers from my shop. These are stickers from Van Sticky Co. And then more of the same thing. This is the bookmark for 15 Prill. And at first I didn't really understand it because I was like, how would you use this for a planner? 
but it makes sense because it actually just fits right in there when you close it up and it doesn't go anywhere because it has the little charm at the top. So I thought that was really neat. So I just put that there and that covers that portion. And I'm realizing after using the Hobonichi Weeks for over a year now, how much I really like to look at a week on one page. That I think is my ultimate thing I need to have in any planner because it just it's like a bird's eye view of what's going on during your week and I love that. So getting out of it, I also printed this on vellum. So I have that sheet in there. Not that it's necessary. Um, this sheet was also from packaging from an order I received and I loved it so much because it's see-through. So I stuck my boys pictures on it um, because I know this is something that it's really 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 thin shouldn't take up a lot of room and having to be able to look at them and still keep this in any of my A6 planners would be great. So dreaming these are ideas for my shop and any suggestions. So if you have suggestions on specific icons or specific, you know, like stickers you want, I will write those down in here. So it's more private. And then I recently got this. I laminated her and she's kind of like a cutout dashboard, which I think is so unique and really cool and I love it. I would put her towards the front, but my front kind of has other stuff that I really like at the moment. So I'm just going to keep her back here. You know, she's getting ready. For, we're getting ready for August. Everyone's getting ready for August. So I think it's still fun to be not just have everything in the front, but also have it spread out throughout your planner. I got the Cat Special Co. folder. And this is a really durable folder. It already comes pre-punched. And then I put in some stickers mainly from uh, well these are from uh, cloth and paper and then the back are some of my stickers from my shop let's stick that back in there and then it has like a little hook kind of thing that she has with like all her other um, like sticker pouches kind of hooks in there am I going to be able to get it? probably not going to take too long. Um, this is paper from Happy Scrappy. And this is a Target dollar spot pocket that I still have from like, I think it was almost two years ago. Um, I haven't, I still have a good stack. And then I got the purple one from the shop that I cannot remember. Um, custom orders and more private stuff and these are inserts that came with Happy Scrappy the A6 uh, subscription then I have my own postcard that I made in my shop and I am giving those out free if you want to just put it in the notes in your order and I will include a postcard for you so it's getting a little bit tight as you can tell, but this is my last uh, tab. And this is mainly where I'm holding my passwords. And this is actually printable, I think this is also from Justinia Printables, yes. So I wanted to kind of save the first page, so I put it in the dashboard. But this is pretty much what it looks like. Really simple and cutesy. And so I really like it. Um, on the back side, I have some more of the Happy Scrappy uh, subscription kit stickers. These, this part, it's a functional succulent sticker. I still have that. It's from my shop. And then she is like my ultimate favorite drawing that I made. And I was selling her in my shop. I don't sell her anymore. So I keep her there. I think I keep her in almost every planner. And then we get to the back 
board and this is actually a board that was included in one of my cloth and paper uh, orders it's just this part and so I actually put the holes through it which wasn't that hard as hard as I thought it would be and then this is a sticker from my shop and then this is a pocket from Happy Scrappy that I bought a long time ago and completely forgot I had it because it was sitting in one of my um, one of my covers and I found it and I was like oh this is awesome so I think it goes pretty well with this planner it can go from blue all the way to like a pinkish yellow I suppose anyway that's that I have some more stickers from my shop in the back happy scrappy stickers and I love this dashboard that I got from, I think you guys know where this is from. She includes it for free in every order and I did place an order with her. Um, so I want to keep it. Obviously it's not August of 2019 anymore, but I just keep it here. Um, it kind of adds a little bit more stability even though this leather is not floppy as it may look. It has structure, which is really nice. So you can, you really could, you know, write on this side without having that in there. So that pretty much completes my little tour of my A6, which I absolutely love. And I love VDS, uh, their pen holders or pen loops. They... And they seem like they're really cushy on the inside too, like it has padding. That just may be me, but they fit so nicely with many pens. I don't have trouble, like the first time I got this and put a pen in it, I did not have any trouble. That's how simple it is. And look how cute a Caveco looks sitting in there. Perfect, right? Am I right? Okay. Well, I'm glad you guys stuck to the end to watch this flip through. I hope I could offer some assistance and direction and ideas on your end. And I will catch you guys in the next video.